Hello everyone, welcome back to Rocket League. The name of the game is Play with a Soccer Ball with RC Cars. Oh, miss. So, quick uh, update. Um, I was in the hospital Monday, which caused a lot of problems <laughs> as far as recording. So, um, I am fine now. Uh, it wasn't like a long stay or anything, but... Go, go. Eh. Hey. Um, I got an infection, and so, uh, wasn't quite sure how I got the infection, per se, but it hurt. <laughs> Let's go with that. Um, and, let's see, what's the modifiers? Um, by the way, we are playing the mutated mod map. Pinball, size small, bounce high, max speed high, ball weight light. Oh dear lord, this is gonna be... Holy shit. Hello. Where'd you go? Okay. Woo, that was... Ah, oh, dang it. Woo, pinball. And that one's going in our goal. No. Yeah, anyways, so, I'm just recovering from that, so, I won't be super stressful the next couple days, just kind of take care of that crap. Um, oh, man, Belchie today. Big Minnesota Wild fan, and since I just, this is the first time I got a chance to record, um, they made playoffs, barely. Um. Colorado lost the night they were supposed to win, and Minnesota, even though they lost, basically was able to clinch. And wow, that is wow, that is a freaking shot. Like that just God, that's a bank. That's a nice bank shot. That's beautiful. So, anyways, um, I'm excited because that's even with a coaching change and usually coaching changes while they're not really I would say the best of the things um, Torch, uh, John Torrelli has really made a name for himself and I really hope he gets a chance to actually coach a team because he's done very well so far here and um, hopefully in the future he gets to keep the job Cause I really like him as a coach. He's done a good job with the program, and ah, and that's three. Nope. Come on, someone. Come on, someone. Around. Oh, I got boomed. Um, but he even has notably benched some famous players like Vanek and told him basically to sit the fucking bench um, because he knows he can get better out of the players. And it, it called, it showed. Ah. So. Oof. Oh fuck, I'm on the blue team. God damn it. I was not thinking. I was trying to defend that one. I am not having a good day today. So, uh, there's that, which. Uh, production's gone up. Um, I think we're like second or third in like. Uh, games won since the coaching change. I think the only teams were better than that is like Philly and someone else. Someone on high end, like Washington, because they're beasts right now. Um, Washington obviously was able to clinch like the President's Trophy like a couple of days ahead of schedule. Like they've already won the trophy, but um, that was kind of almost no surprise. Just debate or showing how uh, well they played. 
And they were like, I think one of the things that I noticed with the Washington Capitals was that they were a good team at the beginning of the year, but they kind of realized that they weren't great. Did what they needed to fix, and basically ended the season very well. Um, obviously, players like Ovechkin help, but ah, ah, I am overshooting it today. So, with the Washington Capitals, that was a pretty good, uh, good season. I hope they do well, but I also don't want them to win a cup because you might want to lose them. <laughs> Um, other notable things, um, the West is basically set, from what I understood. The East still has a couple games left to play, um, most notably Philly, Boston, and Detroit. I know Detroit is playing, uh, Philly right now as we speak, um, so this by the time you'll, you'll figure out what the game is, who won that game. Uh, but if Detroit basically wins, it's going to come down to a Philly-Boston matchup, basically. At some point. And it'll be Philly or Boston basically getting their spot. Which is funny because while Detroit's considered in the Atlantic Division, uh, they're like the furthest West team. So it's kind of fun. Uh, kind of look at Detroit and be like, okay, you're you're like competing against some like really. There's really no reason you compete against these teams. Ah. Woo. So, with that matchup, we'll see what happens. Um, obviously. Before Minnesota, I was a Detroit fan because my father was a Detroit fan. Uh, Minnesota North Stars actually moved in '92, I believe, or '91, down to D Dallas, became the Dallas Stars, uh, which was unfortunate. Because um, <clears throat> I mean, you know that it was a hockey state, and the hockey state didn't have a team for. Basically, ten years, and we got a cube and recharge. All right, let's see what we got here. I tapped it. I tapped it. That's good. Okay. See if we can set it up here. Come on, someone set it up for me. <laughs> Fuckers! God damn it! So uh, I'm excited for playoffs when they start. Minnesota can take a break if they want to now. Um, there really is no point because we aren't going to improve from like wild card spot 2 to wild card spot 1 points wise. Um, that's all locked in. Nashville's got enough points. I think they stay ahead regardless of how many games we win. So they could rest if they want to. I don't think they will. Just because I think they'll want to keep the momentum of what we have going. Uh, no, Notable difference. I. I was shocked this year that um, how bad the Canadians fell off. They were the team to beat at the beginning of the year. Like, no one could stop them. And then Carey Price got injured, and the whole thing went to literal shit. I mean, it was bad. And it's part of the reason why there's no Canadian teams in the playoffs this year. Uh, Ottawa officially got eliminated, like, last week sometime. Basically, for the first time since, uh, what was it, like the 70s, that Canadian team had missed the playoffs. 
which is huge. I mean, Canada does not miss playoffs. At least someone makes playoffs. Like, but all of them were so bad this year that it's just like. Urgh. They, you know, no one stood out. And it'll, it'll, it'll show in the ratings how well uh, the playoff system is going to work and how it goes from there. Could a team have made it if uh, the format was different? Who knows? I honestly like the format the way it is right now because it lets teams from better divisions uh, not get screwed out basically because while they had a better record than teams in their division uh, that they don't get a chance to play because I definitely would rather have a team who had a better record be in um, it, I think it promotes better competitive play, and uh, that kind of stuff. So I don't know how long I've been recording. I just realized that. Uh, Eleven minutes, give or take. That's nice. Uh, back it up. Back it up. Ah. It just went right underneath me. Like, I had a good height. Ooh, where am I going? Eh, there I am. Uh, playoffs. Lightning are gonna struggle just because they don't have Stamkos. Uh, that's kind of expected. He might get. He might leave too. He's a. Uh, He's not, he's expected to maybe return. It's kind of one of those 50-50 deals. Like, no one's quite sure what he's going to do. Uh, he's never had an opportunity really to, I would say, quote, unquote, leave before. So he could go to a team that's more of a contender. Uh, not to say that Tampa Bay is a contender. They are a contender. Uh, it's just there's some teams like, they're just getting stacked like Rangers and uh, Capitals are getting stacked for some reason like I don't know how they're affording their cap space right now um, it'll be interesting to see Chicago is gonna be a st always a stacked team you know? they always find young talent though. like that's their thing they're good at finding young talent uh, And it was find good goalies. Like, all three of the cups, I think, had different winning goalies of some sort. Uh, Dang it. Really? Going the other direction? Um, so. And there's that as well. We'll see how the playoffs shake out for the most part. Um, I like this. Um,. It's kind of nice. Uh, would I continuously play this? No, I don't. I don't like the total randomness. Um, I would rather just play my typical matchups like snow day or three on three or four on four, or even like two on two. Uh, eh, it's okay. I'll give it a B. Like it's it's good. It's definitely something that is fun and creative. But I don't think I'd find repeatable enjoyment. I think I would find annoyance out of it. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Rocket League. Uh, slap a like if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe as always. And keep on gaming. Keep on having fun. And let's play.